Hey guys, Trevor Kutcher here today with, and we're back with Dark Episode 6. Before we get into the reaction, guys, I just want to quickly mention, be careful with spoilers. I won't be diving in the comments for Dark as much now. I'll probably be just looking out for people who've commented regularly before, um, and then till, when I finish the series, I'll go back through the comments and have a look. Now, it wasn't a big spoiler. It was just like something little like, I mentioned Catherine had a smudged up eye, or looked like she'd been hit, um, and some, one of you pointed out that it was maybe because she, cause she was beaten by parents now the show's not confirmed that for me or told me she's been beaten by parents now it, it now i don't know if it's actually implied or we actually see it happen later on just be worried like stuff like that just just confirm even if i say something that oh she's got a bit of a broken eye i'm not telling not giving you permission to tell me that why she's got it i'm just saying oh uh, no so i she has a mark on her eye and i was curious oh i wonder why she's how she got that if that doesn't happen that doesn't happen to show but like i said i'm just gonna be a bit more wary with the comments now so if i don't reply to your comments it's not because i'm ignore not replying to comments it's not because i'm ignoring you all i do appreciate you always commenting and just keep commenting as, you, commenting as usual i will probably just go back through and read them anyway i feel like i'm gonna get through the series pretty fast anyway so hopefully i can go back and read some of your comments appreciate you all commenting commenting regularly i um it's, I, it's much appreciated but yeah i thought i'd just quickly quickly of that like i'm not too upset about it like i said it's not a massive spoiler but that could but my problem is that could have been as quite a big spoiler and it's just it's sort of like you say it in instantly and it doesn't mean much but it is still a spoiler at the end of the day um other than that i don't really know i don't know anything else before i just mention it guys as i like to be honest about this sort of stuff anyway more into more life's night stuff i am really enjoying this like last episode one massive answer to do with um Mikkel. Mikkel being the being uh, michael is it michael when he because he grows older and becomes michael dates hannah has jonas we meet we meet noah um in that lot i already guessed Mikel was going to be michael but they left a nice amount of hints to you to guess that yourself so i can really appreciate that but it doesn't really help as much it just tells us who he who michael is but we now got, i've got more questions about Mikel than before and i sort of like last episode because it gave us a bit more of Mikel's personality like he was a lot smarter sort of an atheist character uses logic and i enjoy seeing that in a kid actor i think the kid actor did a good well good job in the bit scenes he was in and then jonas is slowly getting some help off the guy with the hood i thought the guy with the hood was going to be noah but he's not noah and noah is the priest who hasn't aged uh, i thought maybe he hasn't aged so yeah he, he well, i wonder what the fuck he's doing and what his goal is in the world I, i'm curious to see how this hannah and Ulrich uh, Ulrich goes down because as we know he's a copper so obviously he doesn't get a sex offend record for this so this gets sorted out, but I'm curious, do they know it's Hannah or do they keep like the witness confidential because she's younger so they don't actually ever mention it. And yeah, she's clearly obsessed with him, like obsessed to, to do that. I'm really glad to start this show. I'm glad to, uh, anyone who recommended this show to me after I finished Stranger Things. Hopefully you enjoy my reactions. You all seem to be smashing that like button. I do appreciate it massively. Like I really do like the light to view ratio on this. Even the average what time this series has the highest average watch time of any other series I've done. I think last episode sitting at the average watch time was nine minutes. That's like fifty four percent of the video, which is very high. So guys, I really appreciate you. That you you that yes, and you can sit through these reactions. Anyway, enough of me rambling on. Hopefully, you guys enjoy this reaction. If you do. Leave a like like you usually do. Do comment as I will go back through and I will read um, anyone who comments regularly before. You know who you are. I will probably read your comments and leave hearts on them. I just don't. So you know I've read them. Um, yeah. Apart from that, guys, let's jump into this. Do you think that she's the one who snitched? That was a memory, mate. Surely she would have at least recognised the kid, though. Mm. No. I guess you wouldn't link it though. I don't know. Was he going to try and tell her the truth there? Yeah. It'd be a hard thing to tell, even your own mum, to tell him that. Because they won't believe you. See. With him, if he was sent forward in time, or he's, he might be the guy with the hood, that could be, could be him. Or was he the dead body we found? Look, mate, stop being so harsh on She's lost the fucking kid. The fucking hell, love. You don't see that she's mum. Fucking hell. She's been a little brat. I understand why she's been like that. Like, it's nice to, like, People should speak the truth, but you pick your time and place. Here we go. At least the brother's being fucking having some common sense. Mate, I've got to say, his hair's on point there.
Man, he's asking the big questions. My man's finally getting some answers. Yes. Oh, yeah, he was. Oh, he was it with. Because there was another character on the fair. The people, both people were too. They both had the rings on. If I remember. God, yeah. Hotel woman here. Yeah. She was tired in the woods for some reason. Is that used for radiation? I swear it is. We've got the hand torch. Man's got the gear. I love how Jonas is playing like this. I like have the cop who's trying to figure out stuff, but he's not some like hop hop away, he's mystically figuring everything out. And then we've got the kid who's sort of just like getting the help off this mysterious man, and he's mo moving across another sort of plot line. I like how it's being done, it doesn't seem really unrealistic, really. There's all the times he's called Hannah, is that what she's checking? Hello? <sighs> Ooh. Ouch! Caught my landed. Just out of curiosity, how many times does she show up? I think it's one man's an 8-5. No, I want to see the light again. 5-5. Five, 5-5. Five, five. Seems he'd always do it first thing in the morning, is it? Is that time? Mate, you caught her loads! Fucking hell! Mate, so much must be on her mind. Lost the kid. Who's been cheating on her? I think it's not going well. <laughs> wow! <laughs> Fucking hell! What happened between them? Ooh, that weren't her, mate. Oh. So. I was right when because that started. I was like, "Oh, did the tire because they maybe thought she did the?" I didn't think she actually did. Fuck! So he's always thought she did it. So they don't know it's Hannah. Oh, Hannah! What a bitch! Whoa! The same. Oh my God, Hannah! What a bitch! That's how she got round it. What a snake! Me, <laughs> that was such a good reveal for that. Oh, I like that. I was just, just how, because oh, I was just like, oh, it was you who snaked, who snaked us out. That's why we locked you in the woods. He was saying it was a game, but his actual real motive is because of that. And if he just talked about it in the first place, he would have found out it was Hannah. See, I, wouldn't, I thought she was tied up, and I, and I thought maybe it might be doing something else. But I was like, oh, it's because it, she got blamed. But I think that's well, that clears out. Then that's why I was wondering, like, why, why he was still seeing Hannah in that lot. I just didn't know. Tür an Tür mit Menschen, von denen wir keine Ahnung haben. Hannah wrecked. How did he never check that the whole time? We talk about trying to make it whole fucking city paranoid. Oh. What are they? Why are they next to that? So he did disappear. He's got something to do with it. He's next to the hatch. We've got to turn the car. Seems like there's a lot more people involved than I thought there were going to be. I thought it was just going to be so simple, it's going to be the people in the power plan, but there seems to be so many people involved with whatever's going on. But I don't know who what they're involved with specifically. I want you. 
There we go. Ooh! Ah! Whoa! Fucking went in! <laughs> I bet these plays have so much fucking foreshadowing that I don't understand. <laughs> oh, so she got cancer then. Oh, is that the letter she was reading before then? Looks like. Oh, wait, are those two people waiting for Jonas to appear? Maybe? It's me. Yeah, boy. Oh, I'm like the line predictor today. <laughs> I know it's not hard. <laughs> Take the breath. It's gonna end there, innit? Don't end there. Is that like a vacuum? Is that why it did that? Oh, shit, they're doing it again. Whatever they're doing. A journey has gone through. Is that how you can get back and forth? Oh, me. I want. Ah! <laughs> Is the tunnel back? How you get back and forth? Is that one leads to the future and one leads to the past? Like, does one go future, one past? I don't know. Fuck. I don't know what this room is. I'm just sort of guessing. <laughs> Open the door! <laughs> I want to know. <laughs> don't end that. I just want to know what this door thing's about. Yeah, that's got to be the time travel. The lights stop now. Yeah. Have you just Show why are you giving me more mysteries? God damn it! <laughs> There's already enough for my plate. <laughs> God, I love it though. <laughs> Just gives me more to think about. You guys don't know how like obsessed I've been about thinking about this show when I like, when I'm like fucking not recording it. I'm just like fucking like me. I'm just trying to find a very few people and a few people I can find who've watched Dark and just discuss the show with them. Is he missing from the photos now? I love how we're starting to get like deeper in the characters now and more about the mindsets and what's going on in their life. So it's travelled. So we found like the sort of the space sort of black hole thing. So I'm guessing one path leads future, one's past, and then one's present. Does that mean other people know about it? And so how come only the f that photo was only updated now then, and not before? God, it's not even over yet. Fucking hell. Still got more. I'm glad. I'm glad it didn't just end at random points. By the way, I still got his uh, knuckle marks from hitting the wall. Nice little detail they still got kept. Oh, boy, we're back in time. Oh, we got a time travel device, boy! <laughs> Mate, this show is so good. Fucking love it. Anna? Is that your mum, mate? Oh. Wouldn't you remember encountering someone like that? Oh, mate! Now we've got another level on the show, god damn it. Oh, we're gonna find out if this is Mads or not, at last. Is it your brother? Is it your brother? Is it your brother? Come on, confirm for us. Confirm. Because that means he's not the hooded guy then. Mate, I love learning things. Come on. Oh, the scar on his chin. Yeah, boy. It is Mads. I knew I knew it was Mads, but I need confirmation. So, he... oh, boy. Boy, boy. And the end. Oh, okay. Fucking hell. That last bit of the episode. Like, I was going to say, this was like, this, you know, in the first, like, I'd say, 30, first 20, 30 minutes, I was like, Ah, this is definitely one of the slow episodes so far. And then the last, and as soon as he fucking hits the time travel portal, it's like, no, Liam, this isn't the slow episode. This is an episode where we're going to get you more confused. <laughs> so we've got a time travel device. We've confirmed the kids' mats, which I already thought it would have been, but I wasn't 100% sure. We don't know who the chain belongs to. So the mum, the door, the daughter, I forget her name, she has cancer. Reuniting with her dad, I guess, for the first time in a while. So she tried to call him at the start, but he didn't answer his phone. We've got the Catherine, Hannah, and Ulrich situation, sort of. 
getting to know a lot more about what the fuck happened there and why why the other girl was involved and why I tied her up. She was with Max at the time, apparently called Max was in the forest with her at the time of his parents and we got the 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 guy who likes the cop woman's husband and then Ulrich's dad. They seem to know about the time travel because they have like a list of times and they knew exactly when this was gonna happen. So him going through there makes time go all weird. So but why did the pictures only update as soon as he went back in time? The pictures update, whereas they weren't updating before. So does that mean the realities are now one reality instead of separate? But then people would re- see him in the photo and know that's him. Unless, I, unless I'm looking into that too much, maybe he didn't appear in the photo. I thought he just appeared, maybe that might not be the case. But now we can go back and forth, so I'm guessing we can go in the future, can go past. So why So why is it when Mads end up... So when they use this device on their eyes or whatever, does that mean Mads went and then... As I said before, Mads goes in the past and then Mikel goes forward. I mean, no, no, Mads goes forward in time and Mikel went back in time. Or is that a totally different link, a different separate thing? God, there's so much. And then we get more complication with characters, dynamics and their interactions with each other and how they interact. That's all fucking like getting more intense now and how much history they have together because of course they're going to all have, like the kids say, is like we don't actually know our parents when they were teenager and kids, that we don't know what sort of interactions all these characters have had together. And then even now it's getting more involved with the even older generation, no more of them know more than I thought they did. So yeah, I'm looking forward to seeing how the show is going to unfold. I'm loving it. I think it's fantastic. Hopefully you guys enjoyed this reaction. Peace.